This is Civ Chess, a massive multiplayer chess variant I've been working on, in which you can generate worlds, move around the board in real time, and fight with other players. There are more survival-like features coming soon though, like crafting and building, so this is a video about how i put it all together so far. I started by making a simple interface. You just sign into a lobby page where you can see all of your worlds and create new ones. There's also a small avatar for your account, which you can change the colour and piece of. For the actual game, I'm using Pixie.js to render this basic board here with a piece on it, which you can drag around. The first thing I actually need to figure out is generating a world. Since this is meant to be a survival game, I figured it would be kind of cool to have different biomes, so I made grass, desert, and ocean squares. Although I don't exactly know yet what's going to make them any different from each other. Anyway, I wrote a simple function to randomly pick a biome for each square in the world. Eventually, I want to make an actual world generator with something like Perlin Noise or whatever, but for now this is probably good enough. I saw the world as a 2D list of chunks, where each chunk is an 8x8 border squares, and then I just put it into the database. Now that the world exists, I need to be able to turn it online so people can join. There might be quite a lot of players on the server at any time, so changing the database for literally any update would be way too slow. Instead, hosting the world moves a copy of it from Mongo to Redis, where everything is stored in memory and so is a lot faster. Of course, that means if the server shuts down, then the data will be lost, so every 5 minutes the world is auto-saved back to Mongo. You might then still lose 5 minutes of progress, but I guess it's a necessary sacrifice. Basically, what needs to happen when you join a world is you send the server the name of the world and your session token, which can be used to get your account details. The server will then fetch your player information, like your location on the map and your health. It then needs to send you the chunks of the world that are within your render distance. Loading chunks is easy enough as it's just looping through an area around the player and sending each back as a packet. On the client side, you can just render all the squares in the chunk and the piece for your player. The only thing I really have to do with the player is make sure that you don't spawn on the same square as someone else. If your initial spawn location is already occupied, then it looks at the squares next to it to find an empty one. If it can still not find one, then the same thing happens but at exponentially larger distances from the centre. So now I have this very basic setup where you can join the world and have a look around your player. In the meantime, I also added these move hints, so you know where you're able to go. When you do use them to drop the player on a new square, a player movement packet is sent to the server. The move is first validated to ensure that you're not moving halfway across the universe, and then the piece for the player is just moved to a different square in the world chunks. If you moved from one world chunk to another though, it becomes a bit more complicated. There are a set of chunks now that have entered your render distance and need to be loaded, so any chunks that should now be visible are sent to you as well. Finally, the move packet is broadcasted to everyone else around you so that on the client the piece can be animated to a different square. If you attempt to capture a piece, this is what I wanted to be an attack. All players start with a default health of 3, and I just subtract 1 point of health from whichever player is on the square you're moving to. A packet containing the new health value is also sent to them, so it can be shown in a small thing at the top of the page. The capture is only allowed when you kill another player, at which point they get a death menu and an option to respawn somewhere else on the map. At this point I had been working on the project for maybe two months, so I wanted to get some people to test out the game. Before I could do that though, I cleaned everything up a little bit, adding a helpful marker above your player, some username tags, and a nicer looking health bar. But finally, I put it on some random server and let people play the game. Hopefully, there aren't any bugs. Immediately doesn't work. <laughs> Apparently there's just a death strip somewhere on the map. Let's see if I can find anyone on the map. We're all here, look at that. This is absolutely brilliant. Who keeps beating up my clones? I don't even know how that happened. They all know about the cooldown strategy. There's no point because- Yes! No! Okay. We're just ganging up on him. What an attack! So that's Civ Chess so far. If you want to try out the demo, I put the link in the description. There are still a lot of things to add from here, like an actual way to heal, an inventory, and building. 
I did fix a bunch of stuff after the public test, but there were admittedly still a lot of weird bugs with this, so I guess I'll start working on that when I can. Okay, but anyway, so I haven't posted in like 8,000 years. <laughs>